All right, everybody, welcome to the Employee Exit Plan Airbnb Workshop. My name is Jay Dinkins, and today uh, my goal is to show you how and why this Airbnb business will work for you. Uh, so just to go over what we will be covering over the next five minutes, I'm going to do a brief intro, just telling you why this industry makes sense. Then I'm going to talk uh, for the next 15 minutes, just basically teaching you the how tools, like how to do the business. And then after that, I'll give you a few minutes to tell you guys how you can actually connect with us. So this is going to take about 25 minutes. So let's get right to it. So I like to start by asking you, what is your freedom number? And when you think of freedom number, here's what I want you to think of. I want you to think of how much are your monthly expenses right now? Your rent, your car note, your food. I want you to think of that number because in most cases, if you found some sort of income that could cover all of your expenses and you didn't have to use the money from your job, life would be completely different. Okay. This is actually one of my mentees, Shanae. She's actually a nurse and she got involved with our program and got her first airbnb within her first four months she made over twenty thousand dollars and ended up getting three more airbnb she sent me this screenshot i'm um, showing that she made over sixteen thousand, but with one unit right and this is all in one month she made fifty eight hundred dollars i know for most of you right now fifty eight hundred dollars is more money than you spend on your expenses so i want you to realize that you are a lot closer than you think to freedom because for most of you with one maybe two units you're going to be able to reach that freedom number now who is JD? Y'all, uh, simply this, right? I actually was a person that graduated from school in 2006. I ended up working two jobs. I was working for um, a social, uh, I was doing social work uh, for a company called New York City Children's Services. Part time, I worked at the YMCA, did both jobs for seven years. I also did some party promoter on the side, but at the end of those seven years, I still was broke, okay? After that, I got involved with a travel company and network marketing, and I did really well in that. But in 2020, the pandemic hit. So um, the company, being that they were in travel, they were forced to shut their doors. I literally went from making over $90,000 a year to making zero overnight. Say, ouch. All right. Then um, in 2020, from 2020 to 2021, um, I really had some figuring out to do. I remember being in my kid's bathroom, literally crying in, in the mirror because I was just tired of being frustrated. I was tired of being knocked back down. I was tired of not having my breakthrough. I don't know if you ever felt like that, but I knew I need to figure something out. Well, um, in 2021, I reached out to one of my good friends who was a successful entrepreneur. And I was just telling him, I have no experience as an entrepreneur. I don't know what to do. And he's the one who actually told me and my wife about this Airbnb business. So we started this Airbnb business in 2021. And over the last three years, um, we've made over a million dollars on Airbnb. Airbnb. Um, that business of Airbnb led us to start other businesses where we made over a million dollars in those businesses as well. And um, I've been invited to speak at conferences, at different events. I've been on podcasts like Million Dollars Worth of Game with Wallow and Gilly or Social Proof with David Shantz. And y'all, just as you can see, my life has been totally different over the last three years. Now, if you're a person like me, you're looking at this and you're saying, okay, cool, JD. Uh, first 14 years, you were broke, you know, after getting your college degree. And the next, the last three years, you um, did financially, you, you, you were well, right? So what was the thing? Like, what was the thing that changed? I want everybody to write this down. I want you to write down the word exposure, okay? I got exposed to different people who are wealthy, and those wealthy people exposed me to a new way of thinking. Now, listen, over the next few minutes, y'all, I'm going to show you things that you already heard of, but I'm just going to give you a different way of looking at things a different perspective because i understand that when you change the way you look at things the things you start to look at change now i like to be completely upfront y'all um for me i didn't care if it was airbnb i didn't care if it was airbnb cars tour roads trucking i really didn't care i was just looking for a way to be wealthy i was looking for a way to get rich i was looking for a way to be able to take care of my family is anybody out there like like me like i didn't care what it was it's just airbnb just happened to be a right right vehicle for me now most of my life's just like you guys um, I used the wrong vehicle. Like I had a goal to make a certain amount of money and have a certain type of lifestyle, but my vehicle, my job could never get there. And most cases with you guys, you got to work 40 hours a week for 40 years of your life only to retire on 40% of the income you can't live off right now, right? So that vehicle is not the right vehicle that's going to get you to what you want. So you got to find the right vehicle, y'all. If I was driving from New York, to Baltimore, Maryland, then I can use any car. But if I want to go from New York to Dubai, I can't use any car. I don't care if I have the fastest Lamborghini. That vehicle is not designed to get me to Dubai. I have to use the right vehicle. So when I found Airbnb, right, I was just, I just finally found the right vehicle that was going to get me to my destination. Now, let me say it like this, right? 
A lot of you think you have a money problem, but you don't. Okay, you probably make forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars. The problem is not forty, fifty, or sixty thousand dollars. That's actually good money. The the real problem is it takes you an entire year to get there. If you made that forty thousand a month, fifty thousand a month, then the forty or fifty thousand dollars wouldn't be a problem. So you don't have a money problem. You actually have a time problem. With Airbnb, I found a way to make what I would make in a year. And an actual month okay so another thing i heard from wealthy people is and you guys have heard this too you probably can finish my sentence they would say things like own nothing control everything um, but i didn't really understand what that meant until i started to look at things differently now i want you to uh, ask answer this question right how many banks does cash app or zelle own how many cars does uber or lyft own how many restaurants does uber eats or grubhub own how many theaters does netflix or prime own prime now own and I'm pretty sure you said zero because that's the right answer. You see, Zelle and Cash App said, listen, we don't have to own a bank to dominate the money industry. Uber and Lyft said, we don't have to own a car to dominate the transportation industry, right? Uber Eats, Grubhub, don't, we don't have to own a restaurant. Netflix, Prime Now, we don't have to own a theater to dominate the movie industry, right? So they understand the power of owning nothing but controlling everything. These are some of the most successful companies in the world. So why did I choose Airbnb? It was very simple. Airbnb followed the same exact model that has been in my face the entire time, but I didn't realize it. And I said, you know what? I finally found the way. You see, Airbnb said, listen, we are going to dominate the hospitality industry, but unlike Hyatt, Hilton, Marriott, we're not going to purchase a building. We're not going to have a hotel, but we are going to own and dominate this industry. So for the first time in my life, I found a vehicle that can actually get me rich, right? How many of y'all want to be rich? All right. So rich stands for me. It stands for uh, residual income creates habitual wealth, heavy on habitual, meaning it's ongoing. So when we did our Airbnbs, y'all, we literally set it up one time, but every single month, this is actually a screenshot of one of our months payout on Airbnb. They pay us out 40 to $70,000 every single month off of something that we created one time habitual, right? So um, what is Airbnb? Airbnb is an online platform that allows um, everyday people just like me and you to make money like hotels by allowing us to host guests in our homes, apartments, rooms, and more. But here's what I really love. Airbnb has millions of users looking to book units like yours so you don't have to worry about any marketing, All right? You probably went on the Airbnb platform to book uh, a unit and when you did that, nobody called you to promote their unit and tell you how nice their unit was, right? What happened was you put in a certain destination and then Airbnb started to say, hey, check this unit out, check this unit out, right? So what I love about Airbnb is you literally set it up, you put it on the platform, Airbnb does all the promotion for you. You don't have to worry about getting ads, going on social media, say, hey, somebody booked my unit or trying to find people to fill it. Airbnb will send people to your unit every single day. So who is Airbnb right for, y'all? It's right for the person that's looking to literally replace their income at their job um, or their or their business. A person that maybe you make good money, but you don't have any time to enjoy it, so you're looking for time freedom. It's also for the person who's like, you make good money, but you want to make some more money, or even the person that is a brand new entrepreneur. If any of these relate to you, somebody say, that's me, okay? Mm -hmm. um, but why? Why is Airbnb the best way, y'all? It's really simple. I'm a common sense kind of person. And I like things that make sense, right? When I did research, I realized that 90% of all millionaires become so through only real estate. So to me, the way I look at this is, listen, if real estate gives me a 90% chance to make the kind of money that I want to make, uh, live the kind of life that I want to live, then I'm going to do that. The question that I really ask is, well, if this is a known fact, anybody can look this up, then why isn't everybody doing Airbnb? Well, the truth is not Airbnb, but real estate, right? But the truth is um real estate traditional real estate has a lot of challenges right think about the the like the hardships of trying to purchase a home it's very intimidating right people have to have perfect credit you have to come up with a down payment find an agent get approved deal with interest rates get the house inspected appraised get a title search deal with closing costs and then anything that happens when you buy the house it's your problem right so Although, you know, 90% of all millionaires become so through owning real estate, a lot of people never start because of these kind of challenges. Well, what we decide to do with this Airbnb, I want you to look at it this way, is we say, you know what, we're going to let the people who like to build wealth the old way, we're going to let them deal with all this. We're going to let them deal with the credit, the down payment, finding the agent, getting approved, the interest rates, inspections, uh, appraisals, title search, closing costs, ongoing maintenance. And after they do all that, we're going to say, okay, cool. Let me rent it from you so I can go ahead and make money on Airbnb, y'all. So just to give you an example, right? Let's say if somebody said, well, I'm getting into real estate. I'm going to buy me a $300,000 home. They go take out a loan. They make that purchase. But now they have an $1,800 mortgage. But this is an investment for them. So they find a tenant that says, you know, hey, we'll pay you $2,300. So now guess what? As this uh, real estate investor, 
they make $500 a month. Now, us, as the new school way of doing things, we say, you know what? Hey, why don't you just rent it to me? We'll pay you the $2,300. So we're going to take that same exact home, pay the $2,300. We're going to list it on Airbnb for $250 a night, get it booked for just 20 nights, which is only 65% of the month, right? And we'll make $5,000 a month. We take that $5,000. Of course, we'll pay the rent, whatever other extra expenses that we have. And now we're profiting $2,500. Now, the cool thing is because we didn't have to go through that process of purchasing a home, it was really easy because we just rented. We can do this thing over and over over again so what you can have one unit two three four units right and i want you to think of that freedom number that i said before right for most of you it's under five thousand dollars with most of you one or two units you are going to be able to be free with this example and the best part of this and why i feel like it's great for you is because you are already halfway there most of you know what it's like to rent an apartment because you're currently doing it most of you know what it's like to put furniture in your house because you already did it and that's exactly what we do on airbnb but the real question is well how do i use what i already know with what i don't know in order to get the results that i want right and that's what i'm going to show you in these next five steps so please pay attention right so the first step is you got to find a profitable property you got to find a property that not only allows you to do airbnb but also that you're going to be able to make money with so the first step is to locate the property um i like to find properties that already have people doing airbnb in it because if they allow them to do it they're going to allow you to do it so what i do is i go on airbnb search an area i find multiple listings with the same amenities right because um that means these are going to be in the same building if you look at these three pictures these are three different listings with the same pool this means Means number one that um they all are in the same building but number two it also means that the building obviously allows this business model so i will contact this building now before i actually sign my lease i'm going to make sure that i'm going to be able to make money so how do i do that number one is i figure out how much i'm going to have to spend every single month if i have my business there and that's easy when you're in the building just write down the rent you know if they charge for parking any expenses they have what they charge for internet in the area add all those numbers up and that's going to tell you what you have to spend every month to figure out what you can possibly make every month is why you're on airbnb look at other people's listings see what they're charging per night on average write it down also see about how many nights people are standing there in their unit per month write that number down and then multiply them by each other and that's going to tell you your possible earnings then you simply take your earnings minus those expenses and what's left over is how much money you get to take home so as long as that number makes sense to me then i go ahead and sign the application okay um now i know some of you are thinking well what do i say when i contact the property let me give you an example of what it sounds like so if I call the property, I would just say, hey, my name is Jay Dinkins. I'm calling on behalf of my company, Luxury Stays LLC. Basically, what we look to do is partner with buildings like yours in order to provide housing to our clients. Our clients are business professionals, are travel nurses, medical students, military personnel. Um, and uh, we typically have them come in. They stay for work. They usually stay like two to five nights at a time. Recently, people have been requesting units in your area. I did reach out to one of my good friends. They told me about your building, so it does come highly recommended. So I wanted to reach out and see if you had any units available at this time, right? So uh, remember, in life, it's not about what you say. It's about how you say it. I basically said Airbnb without saying Airbnb, okay? Um, now, once I said that and they said yes, they gave me permission to actually run my unit. Now I have to actually style it, meaning put furniture in the unit. So there's four main rooms, the bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, living room that you have to furnish. I'm not going to tell you what to put in your unit. But I will give you some advice. Just remember, you don't live there, right? You don't have to furnish your Airbnb like you would furnish your own apartment, right? In my apartment, I have a couch in the living room that I watch TV on. But in most of our Airbnbs, we have beds in our living rooms. And we teach our mentees to do the same thing, right? Like Raisha, she has two queen beds in the living room, a queen bed in the bedroom. Airbnb says if you have a full size bed or higher, you can seat two people on that bed. So if you have two queen beds in the living room, that's four people in the living room. That's another two people in the in the bedroom, right? And then we also have them put extra beds in the closet, like a rollaway bed or a blow-up bed. So this is a one bedroom sleep at least seven people. So y'all write this down. The more people you sleep, the more money you make. Now, these are two of our rock star couples that um, have units in Nashville. I want you guys to write this down. Themed units, okay? They have guitars on their walls because um, Nashville is the capital of country music. So theme units will always work well. And then also write this down, wallpaper. Amneris decided to go with this nice wallpaper. I really love wallpaper. And that's really popular on Airbnb. And I want you to write one other thing down, be creative, okay? What we had a bell do was actually go to Home Depot, buy these two fences, buy some gold sc spray paint, and spray painted gold and use it as a headboard, okay? So all of these units that I just showed you, my wife actually furnished those units because we actually designed units for our students, okay? So step four, um, I want you to understand there's more ways to make money through Airbnb versus just putting it on, you know, just listing your units. So there's a few different strategies. I'm gonna go through 
four really quickly. Um, the first one is called midterm rentals. That's when you book your unit for longer stays. Like people are staying for like one to three months at a time. So usually out the entire year, you're going to have like four to eight guests. All right. So we have some of those midterm rental bookings. As you see, this person booked our unit for 64 nights and paid us five thousand six hundred and seventy. Uh, and $27 up front, okay? We had another unit. This is one of our units in Atlanta where they originally booked for two months, paid us $5,500 and then said they wanted to add another month. So paid us another $2,500. All in all, right, they paid us over $8,000. And after we pay all of our expenses, we were making $1,200 per month during the three months that they was here, okay? Um, then you have short-term rentals is a second strategy. Now with short-term rentals, people are staying for shorter periods, right? You can do this in apartment buildings. You can get larger homes, right? Um, people are booking for like one to four days at a time with the apartments. You're going to get more bookings because more people are using the shorter or uh, the smaller units, right? So you get about 10 bookings a month. The the, the larger units, uh, you're going to get like four bookings per month. But the good thing is even with those four units, if, because you're charging more, you're going to make more money, right? So if I charge $500 a night on the weekends, that's $1,000 a weekend. Four weekends in a month, four thousand dollars. I may be paying like two thousand dollars to rent the place. I'm making two thousand in profit, right? So both of these things work. Um, but what I really love about these short-term rentals is that you can make money through like cleaning, parking, early check-in, late checkouts, right? We give our students a profit calculator that can figure all this stuff out. All right, just to give you an example, right? Let's say if you charge fifty dollars an hour for early check-in or late checkout, and ten days out the month somebody needed two hours, you would make an extra thousand dollars. A month, right? Now, what if you had a cleaning fee of hundred dollars, but your cleaner only charged you seventy-five dollars? You're making twenty-five dollars on every booking with ten bookings for the month, right? Two hundred fifty dollars extra, right? So, my type extra, right? Also, what if you charge parking twenty-five twenty-five dollars a night and only half of the month, fifteen nights, somebody need a parking? That's an extra three hundred and seventy-five dollars. So, I love the short-term rentals because you can make so much extra money, right? These are Four examples of our one bedroom units, right? This person booked this unit for four nights, paid us eleven ninety three. This one booked it for three nights, paid us one thousand fourteen. This person booked for five nights, paid us fourteen seventy five, and seven nights paid us seventeen thirty one. Seven nights is only one week, y'all. That means I got three more weeks to make more money with that. Okay. So third way to make money through Airbnb is through co-hosting. I really love co-hosting because this is where you can make money without having your own Airbnb. As a co-host, basically, you have people who are property owners or they have an Airbnb, but they don't want to do the day-to-day -day work. So they will literally pay you 10% of their earnings so you can do the day-to-day -day work for them, like making sure the cleaners are there, you know, handling any, you know, um, challenges that happen, making sure the items are restocked, right? That kind of stuff. But the cool thing is you don't have to use your own credit because it's not your unit. You don't have to use your own money. Remember, it's not your unit. You're just running it for them. So they pay for everything. Um, you don't have any responsibilities as an owner. And if you learn how to automate this process, which I'll teach you in a few seconds, you can literally have units all over the country and run it right from your home on your phone. OK, another way to make money through Airbnb that a lot of people don't even know about is through referrals. So if you refer a new host, when they get their first um, listing or their first booking, Airbnb will pay you anywhere from two to eight hundred dollars. At the time I took the screenshot, as you see, Airbnb said, listen, we'll pay you six hundred dollars for every referral, JD. Right. They give you a link. And then um, as you see down here, we made over three thousand dollars already and then have fourteen thousand dollars that's waiting. So these people used our link, but they didn't get their first booking. The moment they get that booking, we getting paid out. OK, and then you got step five. OK, is how do you automate it? And this is important. y'all. I never wanted to start a business to have another job. We literally spend less than 15 minutes a day to run your business. So this is not something that you got to leave your job to do. You can totally make six figures doing this and still have your job. Right. So a um, few things you can do is one, you can hire a co-host, pay them 10 to 20 percent so they can run a unit for you. Um, we don't use co-hosts. We actually use our cleaners as co-hosts because we have a really good system in place. We stock our units with at least three months worth of supplies. We also get a smart lock for our door so we can control it from our our phone from anywhere in the world. Uh, we also have a handyman to fix anything that's messed up. And then we also have um, apps that we use for automated messages. So like when guests book, they get their check in instructions, they get their check out instructions. Even our cleaners get alerted of what they, what they have to clean. And we don't have to actually send it to them right so i mean this this model has proven to work it just makes sense we have a lot of mentees like carmen i met carmen on instagram right right she was working in the hospital in fact she still works in the hospital um she ended up joining my program sent me the screenshot uh like like a month or so ago and showing that she made thirty one thousand dollars in a month um, but the cool thing is she's still a manager at a hospital. She's also helped her mom, her aunt, and her best friend get Airbnbs. And that's really what it's about, right? Then you got my, my mentee, Fred. He's actually one of my first mentees. Um, sent me the screenshot saying that he made over $41,000 for the month. He now has like 10 units, right? But... 
He is an accountant and he also has a side tax job. So once again, this doesn't require a lot of your time and energy, y'all. I like to make things super simple, right? But I want you guys to be upfront and honest with me, right? Based on what I just shared with you, how many of you can honestly see these five steps working for you? OK, right. Only only if you honestly can see it. And if you can see it, I want to ask you this. Would you like exclusive access to my exact system that Fred used, that Carmen used? These people have used to create a six figure Airbnb business without having to leave their job. OK, um, if not totally fine, if you feel like you can figure this out on your own, I'm just going to let you know um, it's going to take you a longer time and you're probably going to make mistakes. I've seen so many people go get an Airbnb, but because they didn't tell the right people, they didn't use the right documents, they end up getting kicked out. Right. And we don't want that for you. Or you can say, I'm going to use a path of proven success. we got people like JD has made over a million dollars on Airbnb, who's helped many students make multiple six figures part time while working their jobs. And we have over 200 students that have actually went on and got their first Airbnb. So for those of you, um, what I want to do is I'm not going to ask you for any money today. So don't worry about that. I just want to tell you about my mentorship program. And if you want, you can definitely book a call with our team and see what works best for you. OK, so it's called the Employee Exit Plan in our program. It's a very extensive program we have over a hundred different videos that you can watch that are recorded you can watch on your own time we also have two to three live weekly coaching calls right and we have some of the more private coaching calls for our mastermind students um you also get access to our mentorship chat which is like-minded people people who are on the same journey as you um you also get access to the profit calculator so you can figure out your you know profits before you fill out any ap application to a building uh, we give you airbnb walkthroughs of our actual unit so you can see what you need to do. We even give you furniture checklists so you know every item you need for every room. Uh, we give you our money our money hacks course that teach you how to make extra an extra thousand dollars a month with your Airbnb business. We even give you all of the contracts and documents so you don't have to worry about doing this on your own. Personally, when I started, I had to go and pay thousands of dollars just to get this stuff um, myself. Um, we give you, you know, credit ebook bundles just in case you need help with your credit. Uh, we even throw in some bonus courses just in case after you start making money with Airbnb, you want to start something in trucking, Turo, trading, or credit. So we're going to throw in all that stuff. But um, for me, this is the most important part, right? This is not a program where we just give you stuff and say, hey, figure it out. No, we do everything with you or for you, okay? So um, when you join, you will literally get a one-on-one -on -one onboarding call just to make sure you're going on, a, you're on the right path. We'll actually have somebody walk you through creating your LLC, setting up your DUNS number, which is your social security number for business. That's how people build business credit. We'll help you set up your email, your business email and a business address. We'll help. We'll have our team create a logo for you. We'll have our team create a funnel, which is the new version of a website for you. So it has your logo, your pictures, your, you know, all the information on your website. Um, we'll, um, if you need help with the credit, we have a Metro 2 um, AI credit software that we partner with to help you. Uh, we also give you access to a Airbnb property finder platform that finds Airbnbs for you. Uh, we even design your unit and find all the furniture for you so you don't have to worry about doing that. And then when it's time for you to book, we actually help you create your listing. And one of my favorite parts is, you know, I also like to do a special kickoff call when I get a new member because we want to make sure that you get off to a fast start. I want to show you, I want you guys to listen to this story of somebody who used our, um, who came to the kickoff call and then we're going to wrap this up. Hi, everyone. My name is Jackie Bolock. And I am a new member of the Employee Exit Plan Program. Now, how all this came about was on Sunday, I received an invite from Jarrell Dinkins, and it was an Instagram live, Instagram live invite. And so I've known Jarrell for a few years, probably up to 10 years or so, but I've always known him to be very business minded. I've always known him to be the best mentor, or the, a great mentor. So I was very intrigued when I received this invite. So I decided to jump on. I jumped on and was uh, excited about what I've heard and decided to purchase the program. So purchasing the program meant I was receiving a welcome. On Monday, I got on a call, jumped on a call with some other new members, received a welcome, and he gave so much valuable information that I just decided to jump right in. That night, I decided to put what he said into play and lo and behold, I received approval of my first unit on Tuesday. It was just that fast. So if I could leave you with anything, I would leave you with this. Don't hesitate when you hear about the Airbnb business or the employee exit plan. Jump right in and in fact, follow the leadership of Jarrell Dinkins because I am absolutely excited about where I'm headed right now. 
Awesome. So we have so many people like Chantel, who's a business owner, ended up coming and getting her Airbnb. Um, we have Jayla, who's 25 years young. She actually furnished two units in 24 hours. We have Tracy, who actually partnered with one of our other mentees in the program and went and got Airbnb together. Laderm, who works in the school, who started to make some extra money, right? So the stories, there's so many different stories. In fact, I'll come back to this in a second, but here's the deal, right? Because I, I want to be respectful of your time. I'll play the video after this, but um, it's now time for you to execute. You know, what happens if you do nothing today, right? If nothing, cha nothing changes, if nothing changes, right? If you don't take a chance in yourself, then, then your life is going to look exactly what it looks like right now. People always say, but what if it don't work, right? Well, if it don't work, you already know what it looks like because you're living that. But what if it does work? What if you do get to be like some of these mentees that y'all just saw, like myself and my wife, who go out there, who had no experience and actually go and make a change. So here's the deal. We want to make sure it's right for you. I don't like to just say, hey, join my program and pay this amount of money. No, nah, I don't like to do that. Um, we want to make sure that we help you the best way that is going to benefit you. So what I want you to do is go ahead and click the link um it's going to pop up in the chat or somewhere on here in just a second right uh, but go ahead and um uh hold on but i want you to go ahead and actually book book a call with our team right just go ahead and check the the, the chat book a call with our team so we can help you you know get your success so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and play this video so you have some time to book uh book your call but i want you to go ahead and listen to these videos and then we are wrapped up Hi, my name is Shanae. I'm a travel nurse. I joined JD's program in the beginning of May 2023. And the ending of May, I got my first LLC ever. Um, and then a week later, I got $30,000 in business credit. And then come August 2023, I got my first unit. Now we are standing in number two because I made over $20,000 in my first four months. So then I said, I have to do it again, rinse and repeat, right? So this is number two that we're standing in. And I also have another one across the street. That's number three. Um, joining his program has been amazing for me because I'm a nurse. Um, business doesn't come second nature to me. So it's very much straightforward. Everything I needed to get started, I joined the mastermind as well. And that took it to another level where I learned to help others set up their LLCs. I learned how to make additional money with Airbnb, not just through the units, through referral credits, through helping others get started. Um, so it's been amazing. He's an amazing mentor. It saved me a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of mistakes that I probably would have made by doing it by myself. You need a mentor. You need somebody to show you who has done it. Somebody who has done it and they show you, they show you the way. <laughs> All right. Hello, my name is Ashley. I'm a traveling hairstylist and multiple business owner. I have known JD for a while now, and I've just seen him killing it at Airbnb. And although I had so many responsibilities going on, I still was very intrigued by how he made it seem so easy. So I decided to join his program back in 2021. And then within about three to four months, I was able to get four units. Okay. I was applying and they called me back almost at one time. And so I was super ecstatic. And because of what I've learned, I was able to acquire the four units and set them up properly for success. Um, if you are looking for something new, if you are looking to get into a program to have some guidance on getting into the Airbnb game so that you can be successful, I'm telling you, JD is an awesome mentor. His program is amazing. He makes it so easy and simple for you to win in this industry. I have made over 150K in about 13 months on Airbnb with just my four units and counting. I'm just super excited that I did take the leap of faith and I joined his program because without having that extra support or guidance, it can be a little tricky. So you definitely want to get into a program when you're doing or investing in anything um, that's going to basically change your life. All right, y'all. So thank you for taking a look. Make sure you go ahead and book a call with our team. And we look forward to connecting with you guys. All right, everybody take care.